Hey y'all, I'm Caleb from the Fiddlin' Foodie, and today we're going to be making peanut butter pie. So right here I have two packages of regular cream cheese. I'm doubling the recipe to make two pies, so instead of adding three-fourths a cup of creamy peanut butter, I'm sure you can use chunk chunky if you want to. I'm going to add a cup and a half. I'm just going to eyeball it till it looks like it's about a cup and a half. I'm sure you could also do this with like a almond butter or any kind of nut butter you want. And that would probably be good. So, like I said, if you're doing one pie, you're going to want to just have three-fourths a cup of, to one cup of, of peanut butter, depending on how peanut butter tastes and you want your pie to be. I think I'm going to have to open up another jar of peanut butter. Because that looks about maybe three quarters of a cup and I need double that. So I've already opened a second jar. I'm going to get one more scoop for good measure, and that's going to be good. Try and get that off there. I'm going to set this aside. So what I'm going to do now is just beat these two together until they're combined. I'm going to do that with an electric mixer, and when we come back, we'll add in our next ingredient. Okay, y'all. So our cream cheese and peanut butter are combined, and now we're going to add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then we're going to add in some powdered sugar. It depends on how sweet you want your filling to be. I'd say that's about, hmm, about a quarter cup. We're also going to add in whipped cream, which is sweet as well. So we're just going to add enough powdered sugar to sweeten it a little bit more. So when we come back, those ingredients will have been added. Okay, now our powdered sugar and vanilla are combined and I'm going to add in our whipped cream. If you're using Cool Whip, use the whole container. I've whipped my own using three cups of heavy whipping cream and some powdered sugar to sweeten it and some vanilla. So I'm going to beat this in and then see if we need any more to get it to the right consistency. 
Okay, y'all. So in total, I added about two and a half cups of whipped cream because I had to add some more after I started beating it to get it to this consistency, like this. I also added about two more tablespoons, maybe three, of peanut butter to give it a little bit more peanut butter taste. Now I'm going to get my two pie shells and pour this mixture into it. And when we come back, the mixture will be all smoothed out and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so our filling is in our pies and the crust is just a regular choc chocolate Oreo crust that you can buy in the store. I made my own by just crushing up some Oreos and um, mixing them with some melted butter and then pressing it in the pie plate. So you do, you just do that. You put your filling in there and then you, what you're going to want to do is put some whipped cream onto the top of the pie. Now I'm going to put some cocoa powder into um, what's left of my whipped cream that I already had made and I'm going to put that on top of this. Then I'm going to chill the pies and I'm going to serve those as dessert with our supper tonight. So I can't taste the pie itself with the crust, but I can tell you that the filling is very, very good. So this recipe was very quick, very simple, and I hope y'all make it and really enjoy it. Bye-bye, y'all.